was on it. Yes! Oh, spun me around. There we go. Lovely little healthy Murray Cod. Look at that. He is chunky. Welcome back to Land of Rupert Fishing. In this episode, we're up on the Victoria, New South Got Wales border, fishing nice. Lake Mile Whaler, chasing Murray Cod. Hope you enjoy the video. Head out for me. There we go. He's about a 60 centimetre cod. Woohoo! Yeah! Oh! Nice! Yeah, he's about a 45. Look at him, that little chunky one. Chunky one. Up top. What's that? Oh. Right, eh? There she is. This is gummy number two for the day. <laughs> <laughs> right. Turn around and send him. Not really, but... <laughs> here we are. Lake Mulwala. Shot up here for a few days. A bit dodgy wind down home, so... We've come up here, we're gonna... Have a crack at some cod, so gazebo going up. Got the full setup, the kayaks. I'm just gonna be fishing out of the kayak in a few days. It's nice and flat now. Might be able to get out this arvo for a bit of a fish. We've got a bit of rain coming. So today's Friday. So it's gonna be good tomorrow. Bit of rain on Saturday and a little bit of rain on uh on Monday, but overall, she'll be alright. It's hot, she's about bloody 35 degrees. Ash is out under that tree somewhere, wherever he is, having a swim, getting out of the sun. So yeah, we'll keep setting up. Beautiful, love this place. Alright, here we go. Back out on the beautiful Lake Moala. She's hot. It's about 35 degrees. It's 5 o'clock in the Arvo. We do an hour or so just in front of camp. Camp just there, see Ash and Gordon on the bank. Do about an hour or so just flicking the edges here. Fishing all these lay down logs. Green old mate lure. I'll try the green on the way up, as far as I get, and then I'll switch over to something else if it's not working. But we just cast into the bank. Make sure our drag's nice and tight. Cast into the bank. Fish the lay down edges. And hopefully we stir up a fish. Target species Murray Cod. There are yellow belly in here as well, but predominantly cod at this part of Mawala. Very important to cast into the timber for Murray Cod. They're very structure orientated. They'll sit on the log all day, wait for something to come past, and they'll ambush it. They ambush predators, so you've got to be getting it into the sticks. So, got to be 
expecting a few snags. They're super territorial, so this lure doesn't look like anything that swims around here. There's nothing bright green that lives here, but they'll eat it just to get it out of their territory, or at least attack it. It's got moss on it. Oh, he was on it. Yes! Oh, he spun me around. Get out of there. Yes! Oh, I knew we had to stir one up. He's actually not a bad fish. Oh, he come up. He come up off that thing and nearly took it off the surface. Oh, that was awesome. This is the hardest bit. Get this in me. There we go. Lovely little healthy Murray cod. Look at that. He is chunky. He's awesome. He wanted that green old mate. I knew we had to stir one up. This can be hairy. There we go. It's about a 50 centimeter. I've got the brag mat in here. No, you know, no. He is. Oh, it's hard to measure in the kayak. Roughly 55. Close to a 55er. Beautiful fish. I'll try and get us out of it. Always good to keep your fish in the water. Wind just blowing me in, which is a pain in the ass. Okay. Try and get a quick fucking snap on my phone. Here we go, 55er, green old mate, try and let him go nice and good, whoop, oh, and he's gone, oh, oh there we go, first one, he had me all tangled up, he actually had it, the wind spun me around, it's around the back of the log, he sort of boiled on it when it was nearly on the surface, cranked it down again and he smashed it, so... That is awesome. Beautiful part of the world. Hope my whaler, he come off that stick right there. Beautiful, 55er. With the lure. There's a the lure, green old mate. I knew it had to go. This green and orange color seems to, to get him in here. They love the bright color in my whaler. Beautiful, finally ticked one off. I'll go up another 50 meters up to that sort of funny looking stick that's behind me that's facing back into the bank. I'll change colour because I worked a lot of good water then for uh, only one stir up. So beautiful.
How good's that? Perfect cast. All right, beautiful. Here's this funny stick. So I'll change over. I've gone with the green, so I'll go with a, a darker color. Maybe purple. Uh, maybe. Yeah, I might put oh this old rainbow, rainbow colored predator on. Only tackle box is a bit of a disaster, but anyway. This bright green didn't work. I'll go a little bit darker. Still got bright colours on it. A bit of a purple back. I love my predator lures. These are my favourite lures for Lake Moala. Made in Wangaratta. Not far from here, probably about 40 minutes drive. And they were specifically designed to fish my whaler, the shallows of Lake my whaler. As the stick's cracking me on the head. Righto, we'll get ready with this one. One down. Hoping the weather holds out and we can have a bit of a surface mission tonight. I reckon with this hot weather, that last hour and into dark, we'll get a few fish. Oh, follow. One, oh, he's still there. Followed it out. Nah, bugger. There we go. Another one about similar size, just followed the lure out. It's interesting. I reckon there's a few if there's a few fish along this edge, I reckon the night surface will go. Wild ash having a swim. <laughs> Waiting for the sun to go down a little bit more, then we're into the surface action. Don't want the others to mirror. So you open these now. Sizzler. $11 special. <laughs> Here we go. Day one. Surface session. Wind has backed off real nice. Ash is coming with us. Jackal Pompadour. Caught heaps on this. I love these little lures. Do you want to just paddle out a fair way and then just work our way back? Or just start here and go up and back? Just work our way back. Right, let's put the pedal down. What we're going to do, we're going to pedal up few hundred meters, get around the bend, then we'll just slowly work our way back to camp. It'll be probably dark by the time we get back. Uh, 
last hour of light surface fishing for cod in Moala is prime time. Oh, boil. Oh. He actually didn't look like a bad fish, huh? What's that? How far up's the gate? Oh, oh! Oh! Are you on? No. He had a few goes. Yeah. I don't think he was very big. He's tiny. Oh, yep, got him! Got him! He's not a bad fish, Hunk! Oh no, he's pretty small. <laughs> he was angry at yours. Yeah. Just couldn't find the hooks. Oh, there we go. There we go, love a little cod. He'd be, I don't know, 45. He's nowhere near like the one we got earlier. There we go, love a little cod. I know it's a late light, you might not see him. That was an unconventional release, but he's gone. <sighs> Unk stirred him up. I put the little one over him and he ate it straight away. He had three goes at Ash's lure, but Ash has got the big pompy on, so. Probably couldn't find the big hooks. <sighs> oh, boil! Come on, he's right under it. Oh, come on, come on. He swirled on it. Just put yours on, because he might be all right too. Hang on. He had a fair, fair good fucking boil on him as well. See that little stick? Yeah. Put it just past that and wind it over and try and paddle backwards because he's right where that ripply shit is. Did you get him? Nah. He had a look at mine three times and didn't buff it. Left or right? To the left. 
Yeah, perfect. Come on now. Just go nice and slow. No. Nah. Oh, so that would have been the car we just watched. Yep. Is he happy and you're all not happy? Oh, he's alright. Yeah. I said, you've had a big day. There's a massive water rat here somewhere. Hi. How did he go? Uh, he got a couple of little guys. Yeah. Oh, I, I <laughs> yeah. After a fairly good few hours on the first day, I was eager to get out on day two and have a surface mission in the morning. I had absolutely perfect conditions and I was fairly confident I would find a fish. Here we go, session number two. Here we go, day two. Morning surface session. Scared the shit out of me. Well, it didn't take long until I found the fish, but unfortunately, that was the only one I found for the morning. He buffed it, but missed the hooks. That's surface fishing for Murray Cod for you. Come on now. Good? Start from here and go that way again, or go the other way, or? We spend the day cruising and kayaking around camp, but no more fish. So we head back, had some tea, and then we're back out for an Arvo session. What's it? It's on something that was flimsy. Feel it, man. Fucking there you go. Huh? That's pretty much where I got the bullfunk, right where your lure is. And look out, lens. Got him on. Nice. Crunched it? Yeah. Oh, he's a good one. He's a f***ing pisser. Get that line tight. Yeah, he's a good one. Huh? Yeah. Hey? Yeah, it's all right. Alright, where is he? This is gonna be f***ing tricky. <laughs> yeah, he's a good one, Unc. 
he's a 50 in the 50s easy. This is gonna be f Didn't really think this through. Um, yeah, once it's in there, I'll do this, do the old comfort lift I think, <sighs> not a nice fish, he's going to be, he's a fair bit bigger than, um, yeah, yeah, so there you go, green old mate. Right, eh? Strap this on your wrist. All good? Yep. I've got him. Got him? Right, I'm gonna try and spin you. He's alright. Yeah, no. He's gonna be nearly 60. There we go. Ash with about a hold him out. Head out to me. There we go. He's about a 60 centimetre cod. Beautiful fish. Smash the green old mate. That was a disaster what we're trying to do. Anyway, we'll get get a couple of photos, get him back real quick. Oh, he's over 60. Easy. Fuck, he pushed me up. Yeah, hold that flat. You got a, let's say, 64. Hang on, try and get him flat. He's right here. Right. 62. 62. Everything's awkward on the bloody kayak, but anyway, that's alright. Whack him back in the water. Ready? Yep. I'll just quickly show the camera again. There we go. Beautiful 62 centimetre cod. Absolutely beautiful. Send him back. He's in perfect condition. When you're ready, mate. Woohoo! How good's that? Yeah? Huh? Got another one. Unreal. They're on green. Smash it or? There. They're, they're on then, that's good. I won't even measure. Oh yeah. <laughs> Little puppy. He's a f fatty though. He's just one of these mouths open. There we go. Another one for the green old mate. That's been the lure for the trip. He's about 40 maybe. Look how fat he is. He's a little solid one. He's got a little head. He's got a tiny little head, eh? Little head, little mouth. Bit of... Big fat body on it. Oh, that's well, not the a... release, but anyway. That's right. Wow, that's interesting. I don't know whether I should change to. Yeah, definitely. Yeah. No, no, I'll got. I'll put the green predator in. I don't know. Um... Mm. I think he said cheers. Right, eh? Crack. Another hard hit. Yeah. You know straight off. Oh, yeah. You know straight away it's going to See that, that one. Look at the size of this wasp on the water. That is a weapon. It's 
huge. A monster wasp just here on the water, see him? One of those... Yes. <laughs> Another one! Yeah. Good one, or? Tiny, I think. He's not even there. Yeah. Oh. Nice. <laughs> he smashed it too. That's I put that lure out there ten times easy. Hardest bit. Oh, there we go. Beautiful little cod. Another 45er probably. Green predator this time. So that's just had three hits. Caught two on the green old mate. And I've got one hit and one swirl on the green predator. So green seems to be the colour tonight. Not supposed to do that. <sighs> there we go, beautiful little cod. I'll give you another look. Yeah, he's about a 45er. Look at him, Uncle, little chunky one. Yeah. Alright, buddy. Please don't rip me thumb off, you dog. Woohoo! He bit down on me thumb and then he went to go. Well, that's f***ing, they fired right off, hey? Four, five, five stir ups. My rod had a touch on the bottom of the lake. <laughs> this is, this is going to upset him. But whether or not they'll try and eat it, I don't know. I can't believe you had how many bops. Oh! He ate it right there! Oh, that should be on video. Is he a good one? Oh, he snagged, I think. Yeah. Oh, well, I can't. He's too heavy. He'd be gone now. 100% he'd be gone. You gotta come back over. You gotta. Is he coming up? Yeah, do your drag up. Oh, he's a good one. Do your drag up, Unc. <laughs> How big? Bigger again? No, 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 no. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I did actually. That was sick. Right -o. There we go. He's well and truly in the 50s. I'll get you to hold him again. I have you up a little bit. Like that. There we go. About a 50, 55 probably. He'd be 55. A few marks. Right. I wanted a nice photo with that one because he was a good fish. Anyway.
Yep. On. <laughs> They're all over the green. Is he all right? Yeah. Fighting, bit of weight. <laughs> yeah. Small or? Little guy. Oh. He might get off. I have no idea how many lands is going to be now. Canal. He's probably going to get off. If he does, it's alright. No, he's not. There we go. Ash number four. The green old mate is smashing it. <laughs> Ah. Yeah. Okay, now I'm gonna. Hang on. Right. All right. You can't reach, can you? Just gently let the pressure off, you'll probably go. We had had an incredible afternoon casting divers. Yeah, he's Ash out. was whooping my butt on four fish, and I was only on one. With the sun setting, Ooh, we decided we'd flick some surface lures, and sure enough, Ash straight away is into the action. Jesus, he was angry. But yet again, unfortunately, the fish boofed it and ready. didn't find the hooks. Yeah, he would have. Yet again, another nice cod buffs the pompadour, but unfortunately misses the hooks again. What an awesome start to our cod fishing trip. In two days, we had managed seven nice cod, the biggest going 61 centimetres. We hope you enjoyed our part one of our Lake Moala trip. Part two will be uploaded to the channel very shortly. Stay tuned. As always, thanks for watching. Please like, comment and subscribe and we'll catch you in the next video.